Hello and welcome back. In this Black Exilist presentation, we will explain how the next Mark Zuckerberg will graduate from an HBCU. Welcome to BlackExcellence.com, the site where we share Black excellence, opulence, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. You may have research results asserting that the Black middle class will have zero net wealth by the year 2053 if we don't find another way to succeed and reduce their debts. There is no question that education and the salaries that college degrees offer is our best chance at building individual wealth. But we also know far too many alumni and former college students who have straddled with debilitating debt because they chose that path. On one hand, young black kids are encouraged by the anti-college crowd to start their own business, to start their own Facebook or Amazon. On the other hand, you have parents and corporate America alumni who preach that a college education is the safe way to chase the American dream. It's an issue that black high school students continue to struggle with. They are listening to both sides. They certainly want to earn a good living, but maybe they shouldn't have to choose between a four-year education and their own business. Black college students should have the option of going to college while starting their own black business, and HBCUs can help. In this original Black Excellence video, we will be featuring the role of the HBCU in creating the next black billionaire. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, challenge. Black college students are overwhelmed with school loan debt. A college degree will not make you rich all by itself. College degrees, research shows, is just an entry door for a middle-class income and lifestyle. But most of us weren't born with a silver spoon in our mouth. And many of us who are first-generational college students have to offset the skyrocketing cost of college with a mix of financial aid and the dreaded school loans. We may have been able to benefit from some financial aid in order to graduate from college and transition into a life of comfort, but black students must radically minimize their student loan debt as well as maximize the opportunities for wealth creation. Student loans are a $1 trillion problem for America and is crippling college grads across the country. However, as the old adage goes, when America catches a cold, black America gets pneumonia. Not only are black college grads carrying the burden of student debt, but because black collegians go on to earn less than their white peers in the real world, our burden is dramatically heavier. Number two, challenge. Black college dropouts don't have the social network to leverage. Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, and Steve Jobs all dropped out of college to start their own business and disrupt the world with their earth-shaking genius. But most black entrepreneurs in college are just not able to do the same. Not only will they face the wrath of their family, but studies have shown that black college dropouts are likely to earn $10 less an hour than a college grad. Not to mention that leaving college early means that students are not able to take advantage of the social and professional networks that could help them find a job or help launch a successful business. And fewer opportunities to submit social networks that could help them launch their businesses and expand them in the future. For minorities that are already battling racial discrimination, unequal access to capital, and fewer mentors, losing this network could be detrimental to future success. Number three, challenge. Black college students don't have access to startup capital. The United States remains inequitably behind when it comes to connecting and putting dollars into companies led by black entrepreneurs. Major venture capitalists ignore, decline, or do not prioritize giving black and minority would-be entrepreneurs access to capital that would allow them to get their ventures off the ground in the first place. Black students can't connect with deep-pocketed investors who sponsor tech startups, which currently offer the fastest pathway to individual wealth. HBCUs can do more to help young entrepreneurs with this crucial first step toward jump-starting a business because banks are unreliable without significant collateral and black kids' proximity to accredited investors is severely limited. Number four, solution. 
Black colleges should blend education and entrepreneurship. HBCUs can take an instrumental and effective role in molding the next generation of Black technology leaders. These historically and predominantly Black institutions of higher education have a responsibility to prepare their students for a successful life outside the classroom. This not only means a thorough quality education, but HBCUs should also focus on nurturing students' pursuit of being a successful entrepreneur. This includes designing and implementing an innovative curriculum and course offering that will arm students of color with the skills and business acumen they need to grow. HBCUs can also pair student businessmen and women with mentors and investors who could provide the seed money to launch their ventures. This new approach can position black colleges and universities to be trailblazers for helping alumni prepare themselves to increase individual net worth as well as generational wealth. Number five, solution. Black colleges can serve as incubators for startup ventures. Historically, black colleges and universities provide safe spaces to develop academic and social skills in what could otherwise be a racial and prejudicial learning or social environments. The staff and student body of an HBCU inherently believe that black lives and black education does matter. But HBCUs can also do more to provide both an intra- and inter-institutional incubator for young entrepreneurs across multiple schools to build a stronger business acumen, accelerate creative business ideas, and collaborate with other Black entrepreneurs. We need more initiatives like the HBCU Collaborative, where a cohort of 15 public and private HBCUs committed to participating in a multi-year collaboration that will foster innovation, commercialization, and entrepreneurship on their respective campuses. This initiative is a shining example that hopes to promote entrepreneurial success by implementing new institutional courses, transforming faculty pedagogy, and creating partnerships with government and private industries. The HBCU Collaborative aims to build an ecosystem of innovation that includes administrators, students, federal government, private corporations, across a network of institutions of education. Number six, solution. Black colleges can provide formal training and office space. Different schools have different landscapes, but we challenge HBCUs to find creative ways to utilize the physical space of their brick and mortar campuses to help serve the entrepreneurial spirit of their students. In many of these institutions, the square footage of their buildings and classrooms on campuses go unoccupied and underutilized for parts of the year, especially during the summer. On-campus and off-campus Black entrepreneurs could use these spaces as incubators, training, hosting meetings, and pitching to venture capitalists. An infrastructure of physical office space that offers business services such as internet, printing, conference rooms, and even management training should be made available either for free or reduced rates for students. Accelerators or mentors could provide intensive technical assistance for specific periods of time, internship programs, research collaborations, or even host Shark Tank-like pitch competitions to attract potential investors. Number seven, solution. Black colleges can offer alternatives to four-year programs. Change is needed, and there are natural alternatives for HBCUs that are innovative and bold enough to pursue them. Already providing socially supportive campuses, HBCUs can nurture the next tech discovery without overwhelming entrepreneurial students with both debt from school as well as new business loans, even if they are low interest. Student debt could be reduced significantly if business schools reduce the amount it takes to earn a degree if colleges adopt an accelerator model. Offering shorter term modules that are rooted in practice and giving more credit to hands-on experience would reduce time to graduation, which is directly tied to a reduction in education costs. Number eight, solution. Black colleges should forgive student debt for entrepreneurs. 
In an effort to help level the uneven playing field that the Black community and HBCUs have been playing on, relief from the U.S. Department of Education in the form of student loan forgiveness could be very vital in promoting entrepreneurship and stimulating business ownership amongst HBCU students. This is not beyond the realm of possibility. Congress just recently discharged approximately $1.6 billion of collective debt held by HBCUs that participate in the HBCU Capital Financing Program. This financing program was established in the 1990s to provide access to low-rate capital that would allow HBCUs to refinance existing debt, as well as infrastructure repairs and renovations. A similar capital program designed specifically for funding mission-critical business building programs or STEM startups would be unprecedented and groundbreaking. This is a creative approach to accomplish two vital milestones at the same time, unloading debt for recent college grads and transforming that debt into an investment that could very well produce the next Facebook, Microsoft, or Amazon. We appreciate the fact that you stayed with us until the end. Thank you for spending time with us and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow.